TOS Television, your digital force for an African news network. I am Abigail Ukwade and this is Africa Now. Ghana has denied reports that it would consider hosting a processing center for asylum seekers on behalf of the UK. Ghana's foreign ministry in a statement on Twitter said it had not engaged with the UK on the matter and does not intend to consider any such operation in the future. Last year, the African Union opposed the exportation of asylum seekers from Europe to Africa, terming the move xenophobic and completely unacceptable. Sudanese shut out shops and barricaded streets with burning tires and rocks on Tuesday, staging angry rallies to protest against one of the bloodiest days since a coup derailed the country's democratic transition. Neighborhood resistance committees and political parties called for the strike and civil disobedience after security forces on Monday opened fire, killing at least seven people as thousands marched against the army's October 25 takeover. Now four French soldiers were wounded in an improvised explosive device blast in northern Burkina Faso, the army said on Tuesday evening. The four soldiers, one of whom was seriously wounded, have been evacuated towards Gao in Mali, French media reports said. Since 2015, Burkina Faso has been struggling with jihadist attacks when militants linked to Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State group began mounting cross-border raids from Mali. And a suicide bombing at a tea shop near a military base in Somali's capital Mogadishu killed at least four people and injured 10 others on Tuesday, state-run news agency said. Islamist group Al-Shabaab that frequently carries out bombings and gun assaults in Mogadishu and elsewhere in Somalia claimed responsibility. The group wants to topple Somalia's central government and establish its own rule based on its own strict interpretation of Islamic Sharia law. Now Tunisian President Kaye Saida on Tuesday extended a state of emergency across the country for another month. The official journal of the Republic of Tunisia said the state of emergency will start from January 20 to February 18. The state of emergency in the country was first declared on November 24, 2015, following a bomb attack on a bus carrying presidential guards killing 12 people. This is your Digital Force Pan African News Network, TOS Television. You're watching Africa Now. More stories coming your way after the break. So stay tuned. Welcome back. The European Union and partners do not intend to isolate Mali and its military-led government, the EU Special Envoy to the Sahel said, calling for talks despite a plan to severely sanction the country for failing to organize elections. The Economic Community of West Africa State ECOWAS hit Mali with tough sanctions earlier this month after the junta had ceasefire in 2020 dropped a proposed February election and said it would stay in office for another four years. Now on judicial matters. The transitional authorities in Chad on Tuesday released the first of some 250 members of armed group they promised to set free under an amnesty program. The program is aimed at fostering dialogue after the battlefield death of President Idris Deby last April. And a Rwandan court ruled on Tuesday that an appeal by prosecutors in the case involving Paul Rosisak Bagani, who was portrayed in the movie Hotel Rwanda, sheltering hundreds of people during the 1994 genocide, could proceed in his absence. Rosisak Bagina, 67, was sentenced to 25 years in prison after being found guilty in September of eight terrorism charges. Public prosecutors had asked for a life sentence and had announced after the trial that they would appeal. Now, Syria loans President Julius Mazar Bayo has sacked the Attorney General, who is also the Justice Minister without reasons. No reasons have been given by the Presidency. Anthony Yewu Brewa has been replaced by Mohamed Lamin Trawali. And in sports, 
Four-time African champions Ghana on Tuesday suffered a humiliating group stage exit at the African Cup of Nations after a 3-2 defeat to debutant Cosmoros in the final day of Group C fixtures. Morocco drew 2-2 with Gabon in Yaoundé, progressing both sides from Group C, while Senegal finished top of Group B despite being held to a nil-nil draw by Malawi. And that is it on Africa Now. For more updates, so visit our website at www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow us and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Remember to subscribe on YouTube to stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Abigail Upadi. Thanks for watching.